Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between double helical gear and herringbone gear. In case of double helical gear, sufficient relief cup is provided between two identical helical gears having opposite hand of helix. It is easy to fabricate and cheaper. On the other hand, in case of herringbone gear, no such gap is provided. Thus two identical helical gears with opposite hand of helix physically touch each other. Although both are frequently used interchangeably, they are not exactly the same. So, let's look into the basic differences between double helical gear and herringbone gear in a tabular form. Difference number 1. In double helical gear, a small gap is maintained by cutting a groove between two identical helical gears with opposite hands of helix, whereas, in herringbone gears, no such gap is provided between two identical helical gears with opposite hands of helix. Number 2. Hobbing, a high productive gear cutting process, can be advantageously used for cutting double helical gears, whereas, hobbing is not preferred process for cutting herringbone gears as the hob, or cutter, can run over the other half in the same way because of no gap. It is usually cut by gear shaper, which is a slow process. And, difference number 3, in double helical gear. Due to intermediate gap in between two helical gears, it requires more axial space, whereas, in herringbone gears, less axial space is required for same power transmission requirement. 